It's the start of another working day for rangers in the Mano National Park. Armando Zuniga has decided to wear a cap today. It's damp, cool and cloudy here in the mountains of Peru. He lives in a village at the edge of the park and used to be a farmer, but he's proud of what he and his fellow rangers have achieved over the past few years. Cada guardaparque casi en en esta área estamos capacitados para poder realizar estos con incendios. Almost all the rangers in the park have learned how to put out forest fires. Y hace poco hemos estado en We've been trained as firefighters. There was a fire here recently, and I helped to get it under control. It's important for us to be well trained in fighting them. Armando Zuniga lives in Patanmarca with his wife Fanny and their three children. When still a farmer, he was unhappy about the national park because nobody was allowed to plant crops there, while locals faced a shortage of arable land. But a lot has changed since then. Farming used to provide a living for a lot of people here. My wife and I grew corn. That was our main source of income, corn and potatoes. But since 2014, with the help of the Frankfurt Zoological Society, we in the village have learned to grow new and different crops. Faisalus berries have proved a great success. They're not new to the area, but people used to grow them just for their own consumption. With the help from Frankfurt, their cultivation has become more professional and new markets have opened up. I'm so pleased about the money I'm making with Faisalus. It's improved my family's financial situation. The crop is abundant and the plants produce fruit very often. Soon it will be time to do the harvest and sell the berries again. Farming practices are not the only things that have changed. Weaving is a traditional craft here, practiced by women. It too has been modernized. They've set up a cooperative, now use electric sewing machines and have developed a range of marketable products. Fanny Cruz, the wife of Armando Zuniga, is part of the group. She says the women are happy to have left their old lives behind them. <laughs> I wouldn't want to go back to the fields again. It's so tiring and it takes so much effort to work the land. Now I work and sew sitting down. This is easier. We're happy. We don't have any worries. Well, a few perhaps, but not about money. Textiles are a better source of income. Fanny Cruz takes her children to school in the village every morning. The COVID-19 pandemic has left its mark on these remote communities and prompted major changes. The school is now able to use internet thanks to pandemic relief measures funded by Germany's International Climate Initiative. Buenas tardes, Helen. Buenas tardes, profesor. Children spread out across the school compound, maintaining a distance from each other and their teachers. Many schools in Peru have no internet access. And until a few months ago, the students and teachers here had to spend half an hour climbing a steep hill to get any coverage. The school principal, Julia Ojeda, says it was an ordeal for all concerned. 
hay días que llovía exagerado, no podían On rainy days, the students couldn't do any work, and when the sun was very bright, they couldn't read anything. And the climb is dangerous. One boy had a nasty fall. And I once slipped and dropped my phone and was covered in bruises. Another time I wanted to download teaching materials from the web and it started to rain. My laptop got wet and broke. I had to spend a fortune to have it repaired. The newly installed internet access is set to change more than just schooling. Jose Jesus Zuniga has turned to beekeeping. And he's now hoping to expand his customer base. Thanks to the project run by the Frankfurt Zoological Society, he's been able to find a new profession while helping to protect the environment. Farming is no longer an option for me. Beekeeping is definitely more profitable. Of course, we have to take good care of the bees so they can generate an income for us. He appreciates that the unspoiled nature of Manu National Park is good for his bees and his livelihood. The people of Patanmarca are developing new ways to make a living while assuming responsibility for the environment. Armando Zuniga, for one, has big plans. My aim is not just to be a ranger but also a leader in my community when it comes to environmental protection. In my work in the park as well. I want to help to protect and preserve nature here. And in preserving the park, he's also protecting the new livelihoods of people in the surrounding villages.